In this video, I'm gonna show you how to shoot black and white with your camera. I'm gonna be featuring a Canon camera, a Nikon camera, and also a Fujifilm camera. Hi, Paul here from Photo Genius. Now, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to shoot black and white with your cameras. I'm also gonna talk about the benefits of shooting black and white in the RAW format. Now, did you know the traditional term for black and white photography is actually monochrome? According to the Cambridge Dictionary, monochrome is an image composed of one color or values of one color. So we've got black and white, we've got monochrome, and an often used term is also grayscale. Now, what's interesting is in camera, when you're turning this mode on, the term often used is actually monochrome mode rather than black and white mode. Now call it what you like, black and white, monochrome, grayscale, I love black and white photography. To me, black and white images have a certain timeless, almost romantic quality about them, which I really, really like. Now, an interesting observation, this happened recently. If I say to my eight-year-old daughter, let's watch a black and white movie, she will automatically assume that this must be an old-fashioned movie, something that was made many, many years ago, uh, which is kind of interesting. A movie that she particularly likes, which is filmed in black and white, is uh, Frank and Weenie. It's an animation directed by Tim Burton. If you've not seen it, you should check it out. It's really good. Um, and there's been plenty of other movies recently also made in black and white to give them that old-fashioned feel. Now we live in a world of colour and colour can sometimes be a distraction to the eye. Remove colour from an image and you start to notice things like maybe shapes and textures. Now, if you love taking black and white images, I would love to see them. If you're on Instagram, make sure you use the hashtag Photo Genius Brisbane. And what I'll do is I'll pick some of my favorite black and white images and I'll feature them on a forthcoming video. Now a question I'm often asked is, do you shoot black and white images in camera or do you shoot color and then convert them to black and white afterwards? For me, I like to shoot my images uh, black and white in camera. Um, lots of people don't. Lots of people shoot color, then go home, convert the images in black and white afterwards using Photoshop, maybe Lightroom. Um, I guess because they like the option of both. They like the color option and the black and white option. But here's the deal. This is a Canon camera. This has already been set to the monochrome mode. One of the great things about this, turn on the live view and you get a black and white preview on the screen. And this is pretty neat because I can use this to sort of see how the black and white image is going to be before I even take it and sometimes I can use this to spot things that will work particularly well in black and white that I might not have noticed with my own eyes. So that's a cool feature. Also this, I'm shooting RAW, I always shoot the RAW image. Now although I've got the camera set to black and white, when I take a photo and go home and put these images on my, onto my computer, I still have the colour data as well. So I've still got colour or black and white options. So for me, it's a no-brainer. Shoot black and white in camera, shoot in the raw format. You've still got the color data so you can go black and white or color afterwards. Now, if you're not sure what shooting raw means, I've done a separate video on JPEG versus raw. I'll put a link in the description below. So now I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to shoot in the monochrome mode with your camera. I'm gonna show you first of all on a Canon camera, then a Nikon camera, and I'm also gonna feature a Fujifilm camera. Starting with the Canon camera, the Q button makes it very easy to navigate around the camera. Press the Q button, and what we wanna do is move over to this here, which is picture styles, press set, and here are the different options. Usually auto is the default, I'm going to scroll across to M for monochrome, press set, you'll see the symbol changes on the back to M, and we are done. Now if you've got a Nikon look for a button marked I, sometimes it's to the left of the camera, on this one it's to the right. Press the I button and we can now use the little joystick wheel here to navigate through the different functions of the camera. And we are going to select what is called set picture control. Press this. Generally the default is standard. We're going to use the uh, joystick here to navigate over to monochrome. Press OK. And the symbol changes. Press the shutter button halfway down. Your Nikon is now in the monochrome black and white mode. Now if you're using a Fujifilm X-Series camera like this X100S, look out for the Q button. 
Press the Q button. This will bring up a menu featuring some of the key functions of the camera. And what we want to do is go over to this, which is called Film Simulation. Using the jog wheel here, we can select B for black and white, press OK, and we're now shooting in black and white. So now you know how to shoot black and white images in camera. And don't forget, I'd love to see some of your photos. So if you are an Instagram user, make sure you use the hashtag PhotogeniusBrisbane so I can find your images and I'll feature some of them on a forthcoming video. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. Don't forget, you can leave your comments, questions and suggestions down below. I hope to see you again soon. See ya.